Hi, my name is Dawn Burstyn Myers. I teach kindergarten at Salt River Elementary School. And today I'm gonna show you one of my activities that I use in my kindergarten class that maybe you can use in your classroom. Um, just some ideas. And I know it was engaging for my students. They enjoyed it. And to this day, they still remember um, who John Glenn is. What I did first was um, I, the, the children need to have that prior knowledge. So to, to learn about John Glenn being the first American to orbit the Earth, we talked all about him. We talked, you know, his space suit, what he wore. And then, of course, we went into the space capsule, the Friendship 7. And to really have them understand what it felt like to be John Glenn in the Friendship 7 and how it was such a small space that they went and they took their chairs that they sit in in the classroom and they tilted it back, as you can see, Antonio, and they feel like they're in the Friendship 7 driving. <laughs> can you pretend you're driving, Antonio? Yes. Well, and he's orbiting the Earth, and I, I put an Earth here, so he's orbiting the Earth three times. And they really, they really liked that, and they really understood um, how John Glenn felt in the Friendship 7. So after a couple days of talking about John Glenn and who he was and what he did, then the children went to their student interactive notebook and they actually drew um, what, what they learned. So here is Adriana's book and here she drew Earth and here she had, we, I gave them a little Friendship 7 or they could draw her on her own just like she did. She drew her little Friendship 7 orbiting the Earth three times and she even, even put the waves in the ocean. So now for the STEM project for the children. What I did was I gave them some materials. I gave them a cup, a cylinder, some cray paper, tape, glue stick, a flag sticker, and I even gave them a picture of John Glenn. And I said, I want you to create the rocket and the, space, the Friendship um, 7 capsule. And I want you to figure out, you know, what, how are you gonna use these, utilize these materials? So they went right to work and sometimes they looked at their neighbor and got, oh, they got an idea. Um, so it was wonderful. The classroom was as quiet as could be while they were being scientists and engineers at the same time creating their STEM rockets and their Friendship 7. This is Adriana's rocket and Friendship 7. And this is how she came up with it. She had her cup, which is a Friendship 7. Now, I did give them a picture of John Glenn. They had to figure out, you know, where maybe they would put him. And she, she glued him here. And, of course, they knew that the American flag was on the Friendship 7 from the many pictures that I showed them and the word United States. And then this became her rocket. And then she utilized the cray paper to make the fire for the rocket. And then she put it like this. From here, they got to test it, and that, I think that was really fun for them. So I used a floor mat, and they knew that the friendships, the rocket went up starting in Florida. So here they would, you know, go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off. And we also talked about how a rocket, when it went up, would go one way and how the Friendship 7 went the other way. So they knew they could not really tape the rocket and the Friendship 7 together, that it had to come apart. So they had to decompose it. So um, they, they had a lot of fun with that. And that became our Friendship 7 rocket STEM project. Now, what I thought was really cool is I was drinking this water one day and I thought, you know what, next year, maybe I'll use this instead of the cup for the Friendship 7. Because this could look like a space capsule. What do you think? 